My name is Christopher Klotz, Director of Spiritual Formation at Lipscomb University in the Athletic Department. Uh, we hope and pray that these monthly emails uh, serve as a resource to edify and build up the Kingdom of God in the environment of sports. Hope you're enjoying these videos, these stories, and just what God is doing uh, within the Athletic Department here at Lipscomb University. Uh, this month, I want to just share a quick thought about what it looks like to live missionally. You see, for the last handful of years, um, we have had just incredible momentum uh, in taking our teams and serving all across the world. Now, the last couple of years, we've been unable to do that uh, because of COVID, because of NCAA restrictions, because of different things. And, and we really have missed out on learning from our brothers and sisters across uh, the global church in how to serve the kingdom of God. What it has done has been an interesting blessing. It's really um, had us focus on what it looks like to live on mission right here in our own community, in our own context, right where God has planted us. And so we've been challenged uh, to wrestle that idea of how do we live on mission every day? You see, the reality is if you're a follower of Jesus, your mission trip has started the day you were born. And every single one of us are called to live on mission with Jesus. You know, the thing we've learned over the last few years, probably more than anything, in how to do this most effectively, is we've learned one powerful word, and that is the word rely. We've learned that we must rely on God and His strength, God and His vision, God and His purposes. We must rely on God in order to live more fully into the mission of God. And so today we'll look at John chapter 15. Right, this beautiful poetry of Jesus speaking, saying that he is the vine and his father is the gardener, that we are the branches and we must remain in the vine. Right? Jesus says it this way. He says, apart from me, Jesus speaking, you can do nothing. Now, I feel like a lot of times I can do a lot, but in reality, Jesus says, apart from me, nothing you do will have eternal worth. And that's what we're about. We're not about the things that will fade and fall away here on earth. We are in this for eternity. And so John chapter 15, it says that no branch can bear fruit on its own. It must stay connected to the vine and remain in the vine. And Jesus says, as you remain in me, I will remain in you. And so this is the challenge, that we would rely on Jesus in the context of coaching, in the context of competition, in the context of everything that we do. We would rely on Jesus so that we may live more effectively and more efficiently into uh, the purposes and the story that God is writing in our lives. 